Every year, thousands of people come to Harveysburg to experience not just a different place, but a different time. They Actually, this doesn't feel quite right. Give me a second. Lords and ladies of the realm, join me on a quest for mirth and merriment here at the Ohio Renaissance Festival. It's easy to get caught up in the spirit out here between the turkey legs and the lances and the chain mail and the mud. It's an escape. That's why the crowd loves it. And that's why a lot of the employees ended up here. I just like coming here as a patron for many years. And I decided one year that since I like to dress up, I might try out. And so I just fell in love. It's like a hobby I thought I should have had 20 years ago. Growing up, uh, my parents and I, uh, we always came out here since I was little. I've been coming here for years. And I turned 18 recently, so I was like, I kind of want to do this. This looks like fun. Previously, patrons Laura Eaton and Toby Keith Hayes, and yes, he is named for the country music star, are both fairly new to the employee side of the festival. Whereas Haley Callison has been part of it for over a decade. They auditioned to become part of this medieval menagerie, and she stays because of it. I love it. I love the community of people. I love how fun it is. Um, I love when patrons come out here and they just want a little bit of magic. It's really actually making it in real life, and that's super fun. And in case you've got a particular notion about the folks who attend and work at Renaissance festivals. I actually like to think of uh, Renaissance festivals as sort of like uh, cons, because cons are really popular nowadays. I am a theater major. Yes, some of your assumptions might be right, but don't assume too much. Remember, Toby is named for the guy who sang Red Solo Cup, and Laura, well, she's not always a lady in waiting. I come from a business background. I'm not a theater major. I don't um, do cons. I just think that those of us who are working in the business world just don't think about letting loose like this. And so it's a creative outlet for me. So there are 30 acres out here in Warren County upon which to frolic and forget. Make your own character and come out. You don't even need to be hired by the festival to do that. And be whatever and whoever you want to be. I am Lady Lennox. And then I grab my shovel and I just start shoveling the poo. Whenever I find someone that I do not enjoy being around, I will ignore them. <laughs> right, and so I shall be peasant no more. I'll spend my day as a knight. You may call me Sir Bobolot. You enjoyed that all too very much. I did. <laughs> uh, the 33rd Annual Ohio Renaissance Festival kicks off tomorrow. The grounds are open weekdays, uh, excuse me, weekends and Labor Day, 1030 a.m. to 7 p.m. through October 30th. Have you ever been to a Renaissance Festival in your life? No. It is, it is next level. You, you just, you have to embrace it. You have to just go all in. Oh my, I, I'm glad that you were able to, to show off your accent. Oh boy, that's rough. I don't think I can narrow that down. Oh, that's, that's a little Britain. That, I don't know if that that's was, English. That was, that was very good. <laughs> I liked it. Gotta go out there and get you a great big turkey leg and all that kind oh of good stuff. Oh my God. Um,